keep going back and forth in my head with is uh, where Chance belongs as far as weight classes. You know, I just keep saying to myself, I, I just think he should just drop down. You know, I think I could see him in that 242 weight class being like, you know, the guy. You know, you know, the last couple of matches he went against, he went against smaller guys. I believe he went against uh, BLM. You know, he got that win very dominantly. And then he went against uh, Brandon El Cesar and uh, also got that win. But those are both guys considerably smaller. So I, I'm starting to just think, you know, you know, and now he's got that big match actually coming up this weekend. He's going to be pulling uh, Ron Beth. So that's my next question is, uh, how do you think that's going to go? And do you also agree with me? Um Maybe Chance should, and maybe in the future, look to go down to that heavyweight uh, rather than the supers. Um, I don't know. You know, it's hard to say. I think everybody puts a lot of stock in you know the overall world rankings and stuff like that. And you know, he's got a lot better shot at getting inside of that and being relevant in the you know world standings as big as he can stand to be and as strong as he can stand to be. Do I think that he would be competitive at a higher level? Well, I hate to say higher level. Do I think that he has a better chance of being the best 242-pound guy in the world versus the best super in the world? Yes. But prove me wrong. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, I'm not saying that to talk trash. I'm just saying that he is – his height and – lever length and things like that are, you know, more along a 242-pound guy. But especially now, I mean, I'm 6'3", and freaking went to, you know, I went to uh, – you know, was I'm the not first even, time I've ever seen you look small, bro. Yeah, I mean, they're giant. They're, I mean, they keep saying that, you know, I think uh, Neil said that, you know, the age of the giants. I mean, that's – that is real – I stood beside. I stood between Devin and Alex, and felt like a very short human being. I gotta say though, bro, you uh, you kind of made uh, Levon look kind of small though too, man. When you guys were next to each other, I was like, oh wow, look at the gorilla over there. All right, he's looking. Uh, he's looking like he's got some for the Hulk. He's yeah, he's a big dude though. His his size in person is impressive. Yeah, definitely is. But uh, back to the question, brother. So who do you have winning this weekend? Ron Bath, the legend? Is he going to be able to take on Chance? You know, Chance probably has a good 50, 60 pounds on him. But Ron's definitely got the experience uh, on his side. Yeah. I want to say the last time they pulled, didn't Chance get a win on him? Yeah, I think that was in a tournament. Yeah. Not sure if it was a super match, though. Yeah. Um I would say the chance probably the favorite. Okay. Um, I Is like Ron. Be a close match. Um, that's hard to say. I, I like Ron. I, I had, you know, um, I hope it's close. And I don't really, you know, it doesn't matter to me who wins, to be honest. I just hope it's close. Now, um, the next question I got for you, bro, is, uh, you know, we've seen uh, LeVon in action, man, and uh, that dude is just, holy crap, he's just in a whole nother world, bro. Uh, my question is, is there anybody on this planet that could give this man a match? And if so, who would you like to see his next opponent be? Um, I think we'd all like to see Dimitri Salayev after seeing him beat um... – Oh, who's the tall, the super tall guy? Vitaly. Yeah. I mean, and maybe Vitaly wasn't in the best of shape or whatever. You know, we can all make excuses whenever we lose and, you know, say a million things. But, you know, Dimitri was, he did beat him in impressive enough fashion that it makes it an interesting thought. I believe they're training partners and it wasn't too much of a shock to people that know them. Supposedly, uh, Dimitri beats him a lot in, in training. But I, I also think that Dimitri was saying that he's not ready yet. You know, he wants a couple other matches beforehand. And, you know, so he said it himself he's not ready. Um, what about uh, after when uh, LeVon won and he just called out uh, Dennis Saplankov? Do you think there's any chance of uh, Dennis ever coming back and returning as the old Dennis? Or, nah, man, it's just, you know, he's went through too much. I don't know the answer to that. I don't even know what 
what his current shape is. I haven't really heard anything about him in a while. Is there anybody else that you would uh, see as being a possible opponent other than Dimitri? Um, <laughs> what about the see. guy uh, Sabin? Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. I mean, you know, Travis uh, Travis was beating Saban in some rounds the last time. And, I, you know, Travis, I, I don't – he might correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that was a super, super Travis or anything. Uh, it's hard to say. I think Saban got a win on him whenever people were still getting wins on him on occasion. So just because he got the last one, I don't think makes him, you know, like, oh, he's the guy. And he's had such a long hiatus since he got banned. You know, maybe he is the guy, but I haven't seen him. He'd have to – I'd want to see him pull somebody relevant first before I said, oh, yeah, save him, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we were we were all talking about that because uh, he made a video saying that in one year time he was going to beat Levon, and you know he started his training camp or what's whatever. But uh, I would just had Neil pick up on the channel, and we were discussing that, and we we were both uh, in agreement that we'd love to see him pulling some of the top world guys, you know, maybe like an Alex Kadecher and a Vitali or a Gennady, and just see where how he does against them. If he gets that win, then we could have him up in the conversation. But, you know, honestly, if they're just having to throw guys at LeVon right now to take, you know, to get him a match, I mean, he's got the storyline, you know. If they just wanted to, you know, sell a match, it'd be an easy match to sell because they could sell it as he's the last guy to beat him. He hasn't pulled, you know, anybody since, yada, yada, yada. And he's crazy out of his mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and if he gets crushed, I mean, he probably doesn't look much different than anybody else. So, I mean, what do you, what do they got to do?